How exactly does that CTLA-4 work and why is it different? So CTLA-4 is an immune checkpoint, but what, what it does is it helps educate the immune cells how to recognize the tumor, right? So it's called immune priming and then it, and then it promotes proliferation of these T cells. And the idea is you and I don't have cancer today because even though we've been outside and we got radiation and we breathe in pollutants and we probably ate carcinogens today and we got some cancer cells in our body, our immune system found it and got rid of it. And that's what happens in the normal process. Now, a cancer can adapt and figure out ways to evade that immune system attack and then all of a sudden starts to take hold and start growing. I know you've talked about that in other podcasts. And the idea is, well, how can we get that immune system going again? How can we get them those cells to recognize and to develop a memory, right? And that's kind of one of the key things. You need that memory. We have memory towards polio and the other things we were vaccinated against that protects us for the majority of our life. We want to have memory to the specific cancer cells so that we're protected. And that's what we believe is going on with CTLA-4 treatment is you're getting patients to develop immunologic memory. And I don't know how technical you want to get because like there's really cool science around this. We actually looked at, and people have looked at collaborators I've worked with in the past, they have a way of looking at all your T cells. So you have clonal populations of T cells against hepatitis if you've been vaccinated against hepatitis. You have them against other kind of things that you're vaccinated or been exposed to. And these T cell clones have this long duration. They stay in your body. And if your body ever sees that intruder or that virus or that abnormal cell, it can clear them. And they looked at these clones of T cells before and after treatment with CTLA-4. So what they saw before you got treatment is you have some clones of cells against your cancer, but those cells aren't enough to clear it. You've lost the battle. There's a, you know, a seesaw or, you know, like this balance of your good T cells and the cancer cells, and you're losing that balance because you have metastatic disease and those cancer cells are proliferating. So this balance is, is not quite winning in your favor. The cancer is winning. And what they saw after you get that CTLA-4 antibody, particularly in the ones that responded and their cancer went away, is then those cells that you had before treatment, they didn't change, okay? The cells that you had against viruses and other things didn't change. But all of a sudden, you got this new clonal population of what we call neoantigen T cells, right? So they're new T cells that recognize unique aspects of your cancer. And those are the cells that were boosted with the CTLA-4 treatment. And again, that are associated with those patients having long-term benefit and potential cure of their disease.